Uh, so Jack, what have you what whoa, what have you been doing? Well, I've been I've been you know on a little bit of a trophy binge, so I've been playing through uh, Jack Two, and I'm going to try to platinum that game. All I need is the precursor orb trophies. Same thing for Jack Three, and then I'll have five platinums, and then I promise I'm done with platinums, and I'm just gonna <laughs> not. <laughs> uh, yeah, we've been through that. Me and Nick have been through. Yeah, that. I got uh-huh. the ten platinums. I was like, yeah, that's it. I'm done. I'm happy with that. Then I got the twenty. I was like, yeah, I'm done. I'm happy with that. Now I'm at fucking forty, and I'm like, I, I might as well just go for fifty, you know. <laughs> uh, will you ever I, I, get to 100 <laughs> no i'm doing a 50 that's it it's that's it uh, oh, so so get to 69 saying. get to 69 oh, that just annoy me then that i don't have 70 <laughs> but um are you, gonna to do, are, you, are you gonna platinum them legitimately or are you gonna do the orb glitch i might try to platinum jack 3 legitimately oh, but actually it's harder oh, to platinum God. in my opinion the worst you think one. so yeah it's the, the worst, worst one. than jack yeah. 2 Oh, uh, well, yeah. I don't know. I played through the uh, I was playing through the blaster challenge on uh, on Jack Two, trying to, like, get the gold. And like right. after after going through it a few times and not even being able to get silver, I was like, fuck this shit. I'm going to cheat, essentially. Try to do it with no hands. <laughs> OK, uh, how about you, Nick? How have you been doing? Oh, I've been doing rather well, Keith. Rather well, indeed. Um. So let's see here. Uh, so because I live in a state that is completely 100% legal, uh, um, I got really toasted last night. Well, actually a few nights, like two two fucking nights. Watched a lot of shit. Started watching The Lord of the Rings. Uh, um, well. Uh, like image. I just have an image of you sitting in a toaster watching Lord of the Rings. Oh, yeah, totally. Totally sitting in a toaster. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, getting that nice crispy brown. Yeah, while I watch fucking Legolas it should be a, um, with an arrow. <clears throat> it should be a toaster that is inside a uh, in, in a bathtub with uh, with Nick also in the bathtub. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know that reminds me of that game and that game informer thing with uh, Hitman back on PS2 with the girl in the bathtub with the roses and the fucking thing in the dresser, and you could see Hitman, you could see Agent whatever the fuck his name is. Uh, Forty-seven. 47 yeah that's the number anyway so yeah i have uh, been watching a little bit of the lord of the rings here and there uh currently playing a uh crack in time trying to get through it got three trophies left got to get the gold bolts and then complete the game on hard basically and that'll have all oh, the you uh things. Have to start, you fucking idiot. <laughs> oh yeah well you know tough luck uh good thing you don't uh, uh good thing you don't have to get all the skill points yeah that's a very 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 good thing because some of those skill points are like fucking crackpot like seriously what are they used like, for just why? cheats yeah just dumbass cheats really gratitude so clank has never really been pots mm. uh, you seem very on edge there nick do not want to like sit down and relax because we're gonna be here a while no 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 i'd rather pace for about four hours it's fine <laughs> nick are you on the shitter <laughs> no uh, I'm, I'm not on the shitter i'm, I'm not on the shitter speaking of the um, shitter <laughs> nice segue. Ne- never uh <laughs> never go to bed with the only thing you've eaten all day is uh eight reheated burger king chicken nuggets are you fucking dumb <laughs> <laughs> it was the only thing in the fridge and i didn't feel like cooking something fam <sighs> okay all right anyway uh yeah so keith uh speaking of potatoes uh what have you been doing <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nick. Well, speaking of potatoes, as you said, I have uh, I, I I was uh, sitting down in my bed uh, on about in a, about after the last podcast, pretty much immediately after the last podcast, thinking about oh, I have a big day ahead of me editing this thing, and uh, right. I was just thinking to myself, and I was like, you know what I'd love? You know what'd be really cool right now? I'd <laughs> love what? to have a 3ds in my hands and play it right now. So, this this urgent go away. It was like it got to Friday. Why do you want Why do you want three Ds and an S? So it got to Friday, and I, and I was in the middle of uploading <laughs> the um, I was in the middle of uploading the the podcast, and I was like, "Fuck it, I, I still want a 3DS, and I have no idea why." So I was like, "Okay, sorry, I I accidentally opened the program. And I don't know how to close it." Um, oh my God, Cody, fuck off, Jesus Christ, thank you, but um. I, I, 
uh, I still had this feeling uh, that I really wanted to play a 3DS. And I just wanted the 3DS in my hand. So I was like, you know what, fuck it. So I got together uh, 250 euro, my life savings, and went and bought one. <laughs> And uh, at first I kind of regretted it. I was like, oh no, what, what, why did I buy this thing? I have no fucking games. And I was like, wait a second, this is a Nintendo console. And you know what a Nintendo console means, don't you? Nintendo. Easy to hack. Oh, hell yeah. Easy to hack. So yeah, five hours later. Uh, uh, five hours later, <laughs> um, uh, I, I hacked the shit out of this motherfucker. I made everything on the eShop completely free. And I proceeded to download every game I wanted. So, so Keith, I'm really, really touched by your uh, your uh, willingness to just talk about your fucking crimes open like this. It's really <laughs> now, touching. It's, it's, listen, is it really... it's not really a crime. It's Nintendo. It's their own fault. Fo- what other console lets you hack every single... What other company makes you ha- lets you hack every single one of their fucking consoles in complete ease? Like, complete I hear the PSP is pretty easy to do. Well, the PSP is it's ancient, and it, it took how many years for people to actually find, like, custom firmware that would actually not brick the console? Like, it uh, was a really long process to get that. But yeah. with the 3DS, like, the minute a Nintendo console comes out, people are working on homebrew for it, and uh, it, it's their own fault. Like, I, I give you three months and the Switch will be fucking hacked. <laughs> but uh, getting on with that, to the games I downloaded, so the first thing that I wanted to play... The first you mean the I games you bought? Well, of course, the game's like completely legally bought. Uh, mm, just like that got, weed I legally smoked. Exactly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the first thing I got was Phoenix, the Phoenix Wright uh, trilogy. Uh, anyone familiar with Phoenix, the Phoenix Wright games here? Yeah, yeah. I've never played them, but I've I've seen a lot about Fucking them. They seem not. pretty interesting. Yeah, they're awesome. They're so they're so cool. Um, they're, it's pretty much uh, you're a lawyer and you you solve cases and it just it is what it sounds and you go around solving cases. It's a visual novel. Uh, very weird characters, batshit insane Japanese stuff, but it's it's just so fun and yeah, it's a game I've wanted to get back since I, well, I didn't break my old 3ds. I just like I don't know what happened to it. It's just gone. So uh, yeah, it's a game I've wanted to get back since then. Um, oh, hey, uh, Keith. Yo. Forgot to mention. Forgot to mention. Uh, speaking of hardware, I managed to get my hands on two <laughs> Xbox 360s for free. Basically. Nice. How? How DJ had four of the fuckers. DJ? And DJ would be known as the 19 year old man child, child man thing that lives across the hall from me who a plays manlet? video games for a living. Yeah, he's a mantelope. Anyways, <laughs> um, uh, he uh, he had a spare one, and he was oh so gracious to allow me to use one of them. One of them has the red ring of death, but has a perfect casing, while the other one has um, a little bit of crack in it. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he gave it to you. <laughs> hey, hey, hold this for me, okay? Don't use yeah, it. Hold this for me. I'll be gone for the next two weeks, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so I'm gonna take the casing off the other one and put the. Uh, the fresher casing on it and i'll be able to play stuff like red dead redemption dead space 2 uh i guess i'll be able to experience minecraft on fucking xbox like that's yeah, gonna now, make any difference you, hold up so he play. plays games for a living so he's basically what keith aspires to be <laughs> uh, actually more or less he just lives and plays games oh okay big difference there yeah big he big wants difference. to do it, though he wants to do it does he have a YouTube channel? <laughs> yeah, you want to hear the name? Oh God, he has one. Okay, uh, possible. Hey, hey, hey! He has to. Uh, he has to pay us for advertising. Yeah. So what's, <laughs> his name? what's his name? It would be known as the legendary and mysterious, unknown to man because it doesn't have any traction. Known as I like DJ us. Psycho Gamer. DJ Psycho. That's not the worst I've ever heard, honestly. I mean, yeah, I've heard a stuff. lot. Of that's that's fine. That's not too bad. Yeah, like, if, he ever, if he ever did blow up, I'd like I'd have no problem with that name. Like, hey guys, this is DJ Psycho Game. Ah, it'd just be like that. Just hey guys, like what's up? It's game. another video from DJ Psycho Gamer here again, once again, bringing you another giveaway video where I'm going to be whoring away my entire family. <laughs> the sad for thing, views. though, you know the sad thing. The sad thing, though, is that even if he wanted to. Though, I don't think he'd be able to give a presentation like that. 
Why like not? that. Lisps and shit like that, you know. So I have a lisp. So I get over it. I have a stammer and a lisp. So I, I can go through it. <laughs> See? Yeah, I but anyways, right enough about that. Enough about that. We sponsored uh, him. Let's continue on. Yeah, go on. So, yeah, uh, you're looking forward to playing Red Dead. Uh, good luck playing that for three minutes while your Xbox cooks itself alive. Why would you say that? <laughs> it's a, is it a first-gen Xbox? Um, yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. You're uh, last, rest like, about three minutes. Um, really? I wonder why. <laughs> I wonder why. Um... But, uh, well, we're not really fanboys of the Xbox here. I mean, come on. We've. I'm only literally. I'm just going to put this system on and try to experience it with the most unbiased opinion that I possibly can. When you turn it on, it will probably start. Like, you'll probably be able to fry eggs on the fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> like, how old is it? Honestly, old is it? I. I don't mean to sound like a dick. Right? But this thing has far better air, air fucking flow than the fucking uh, uh, PS3. You know, it has know, holes it has more, it has more vents in it. It has more holes in it because it needs more holes. Because it yeah. cooks itself a fucking life. Mm, that's true. I mean, let's give it cr- some credit here. It is the first generation console of that true. time. It did come out in 2005. Yeah, oh, it's a very revolutionary console. First online, like fully online console. First... Uh, Pioneered online game, and yeah, I, I have a lot of respect for the Xbox 360 software. We can't bash it too much, but I, well, I have no respect for the hardware whatsoever. Oh no, oh no. no! Actually, I really don't like the software either. Really? No, 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 no. I find it to be very convoluted. Yeah. Very convoluted. The the menu, which is why I'm glad I'm actually going to be able to like you know take my time and and you know you know really dig into the system and see like just how bad <laughs> bad <laughs> it is you know I mean and see if there's some good because I there is some good things on it there, I mean there's some there's some applications and stuff that you can only get being a Microsoft consumer so you know you you. It, it will broaden horizons. If anything, this is horizon going to ha- on Xbox confirmed. <laughs> oh, you heard it here, folks! <laughs> right on Saturday night, soundbite. Horizon coming to third-party consoles near you. Third party Last console. generation third-party consoles at last. That. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Running at a smooth 60 frames per second. <laughs> Running at a smooth 15 and a half frames per second. <laughs> and when we and then smoothed in asterisks. With PS2 graphics. May not be smooth if your eyesight is uh, above the quality of your average 88 year old. (laughs) Alright. I think we've talked about enough of what we've been doing. That's Um, interesting, though. Uh, Let me just just finish saying what I was playing. Uh, Where was I? Oh, yeah, Phoenix Wright. I was playing Phoenix Wright. Uh, I love those games today. Uh, Everyone should play them if you have access to the games. Get an emulator and play them on an ADS emulator. Good man. Um. I've also downloaded uh, Super Mario Brothers 2. No, 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 new Super Mario Brothers 2. Apologies. Uh, honestly, it's the best new Super Mario Brothers game yet. Uh, I, I enjoy it. I've played all of them. I've played the DS one. I've played the Wii one and the Wii U one. And this one is, it, I mean, they're pretty much all the same game. But this one has actually tried to change some things. And I really appreciate that. And it's really fun. Really enjoying it. And finally, I've been playing a lot. Well, not a lot. I've had it for a few days. But I've been playing... So I'm of Dr. Kawamashima's brain training. Uh, uh, my brain, do you want to guess my brain age here? I think I told you earlier, but maybe you forget. 80. 69. My brain is 80 years old. And uh, I played some brain age. And Dr. Kawamashima, in fairness to him, he was very supportive. And he said to me, your brain is shit, mate, but we can fix it. Just keep playing me. And I did. And I got it down to... Now... I forgot to turn off my PS4. And I got it down to 60. For eighty-year-olds, do they is their brain really just functioning a lot less, or is their body just not as good at communicating? I think it's, uh, he said my brain was the age of an eight-year-old. So uh, he said like the top brain age is twenty. So I guess it's bad. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's better than being five. I guess. True. True. And Nick, can I ask you a question? Because it's kind of bothering me. What, Keith? Uh, why are you on PS4? <laughs> <laughs> what? I just saw you come on. You can't hide from me. I left my you PS4 me, come on. I got a notification saying Nick Sousa <laughs> is now online. 
Yes, we're gonna start to. Uh, you're busted. Um, Busted bitch. <laughs> when you're trophy hunting while you're doing a podcast. <laughs> well, I gotta get those numbers up. Um, <laughs> no, Explain I to literally... us, Nick. Quarters in session. Okay. I will explain. Well, go on. We're listening. Hello. Oh, Nick, don't kill yourself. It was a joke. That. What? That. What's that? What? Look at your fucking tap. Look at your Skype tap, would you? <laughs> Look at my tap. My Skype. I didn't get any notification from Skype. Oh, trophies. Oh, okay. <laughs> you're you're showing us. I was getting that. I was getting. That ready. Oh, oh, you're, you're preparing. Okay, I'll let you off this time. Oh, I I don't have uh, my PS4 plugged in, but I have my it, PS3 plugged it's in. It's fine. So. It's fine, Jack. If you go to a website called uh, PlayStationTrophies.org, you'll be able to look at everyone's trophies without accessing a PlayStation. So. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, but going on, uh, yes, I've also been playing some Dr. Crime Machine's brain training. My brain is shit, but I'm fixing it. So maybe I could be a lot more eloquent and articulate in the next few podcasts. I won't sound like a complete... Uh, uh. So that's that, and that's what I have been playing. You're still a uh, you're still a mech, so it's going to be like that anyway. Well, Dr. Crime Machine is Japanese, so maybe I could get some of his Japanese brawn in my Oh, true. So that's that.